Thank you, Madam President. Today I rise to speak to Senate Resolution 31, my resolution opposing the mass deportation of Iraqi nationals residing in Michigan and around the United States. Last year, a group of Iraqi nationals was rounded up for deportation a deportation to a country where religious minorities are targets of a terrible genocide committed by Islamic extremists. Although having prior criminal records in their youth, these people are here legally with papers and many of them have lived here for decades. This deportation was stayed by U.S. District Judge Mark Goldsmith. However, the stay has been lifted by the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. The majority of those who now face deportation this week are Chaldeans in southeastern Michigan. They have been living here legally for decades. Many of these individuals lived in Michigan their entire lives, having been brought here by their parents five decades ago from a war-torn Iraq. They were placed in Detroit as children decades ago and lured into a culture of crime. These individuals were charged, convicted, sentenced, and served their time. Most worked their way up from the bottom to become business leaders and to start families of their own. America is the only country they have called home and have paid back their debts and then some in the service to the communities and leadership in the business community. Having atoned and paid for the price for these crimes, there is no benefit to sending these residents back to an ancestral home they will not remember or recognize. If they were to be returned to the country of their birth, it would, should have been facilitated decades ago when they first committed the crime and not at this point. However, many of these Iraqi nationals identify completely as Americans and have no familiarity with the language of their childhood. This group of Iraqi nationals and Christians face a possible deportation, facing possible deportation, would arrive in Iraq as foreigners, likely to be greeted with torture and death in the land, not of their home. Discernment should weigh the process and whether justice would be properly served by the consequences. Each of these cases should be reviewed and evaluated on the life of the individual that they've lived, the age they were when they were brought to the United States, and whether sending them back as foreigners warrants a possible death sentence. Forcibly renew, removing citizens who have redeemed themselves from our community and sending them back to a nation that will likely persecute them for their faith and for their identity as Americans will result in family heartbreak and will provide no benefit to our communities. In the Middle East, entire communities have been slaughtered for their religious beliefs, and this violates all basic principles of humanity. We cannot be silent when genocide hangs in the balance for these individuals, many of whom we have come to call neighbors and some as friends. I do not support sending these individuals living in this country back to uh, the country of their birth to face possible torture and high probability of death due to their religion, race, creed, ethnicity, gender, or any other factor. Thank you for those who have co-sponsored and support this resolution to oppose the mass deportation of these Iraqi nationals. I request my remarks be printed in today's journal.